There is a description of the course of human life in this collection of wisdom teachings written on papyrus in the ancient Egyptian demotic script. It expresses the idea that old age was reached at the age of 40 years old. Certainly many people would have died before reaching this age, although there's evidence for people living much longer than this too. We tend to think of the ancient Egyptians being represented at their physical peak, regardless of their age. But sometimes they were represented in a less idealized way. Take this older man holding onto the papyrus boat being lashed together. He stoops and is leaning on a stick. He has a pot belly, a beard, and his hair is tufty at the front. The chap on the left here is still strong enough to carry a load of papyrus stems, but he too is portrayed as an older man with rolls of fat, a beard, and graying hair on the back of his head. We see the tufty hair at the front. As we have seen, older men are sometimes represented corpulent. The harpist Neferhotep here is certainly extremely podgy. Older men may also be represented with lined faces. This official has a lined face, fleshy chin, and protruding Adam's apple. His wrists and fingers are skinny. We translate the ancient Egyptian word yao as old. It is written with a hieroglyph of an old man, or sometimes a woman, bending over and leaning on a stick. There is also an ancient Egyptian word keke, which seems to be specifically about the physical act of growing old and the bodily state of the elderly, and may also mean a hacking cough, in which case it sounds as though it's again an onomatopoeic word, keke. This statue in the Walters Art Gallery in Baltimore often gets referred to as tired old man. I think we can see why. It's much rarer to find images of older women and almost unheard of for women of the upper echelons of Egyptian society to be represented older. The hieroglyph for old age shows us that being stooped and leaning on a stick were considered indicators of growing old. At the bottom right of this detailed scene in the tomb of Nacht, we see a very bent plowman. He's also losing his hair on his head. In this winemaking scene, two of the workers have gray hair and slightly pot bellies. The one on the left picking grapes and the other bending over the overflow from the wine press. It's rare to see white and graying hair represented, but to the right in the tomb of Pashed at Dir al Medina, we see figures with aging hair. An ancient Egyptian description of growing old reads, old age is here, feebleness came, weakness grows, childlike one sleeps all day, eyes are dim, ears are deaf, strength is waning, one is weary, the mouth silenced, speaks not, the heart void recalls not the past, the bones ache throughout, good has become evil, all taste is gone. What age does to people is bad in every respect, the nose clogged, cannot breathe, painful as standing and sitting. <laughs> 